Well, it's always a pleasure to have a guest back on our program who's been on our program in the past and who's a member of our family. And that is who we've been joined by this evening. Eunice Lafate has been on the Upper Room Outreach Ministries several times, and we have gone on location to shoot her work. And so it's a pleasure to have her in the studio. We also do plan on going to your new exhibit. But I just want to introduce her. Eunice, thank you so much for joining Wonderful. us tonight. I'm so grateful to be back on this program. It's nice and to I'm have you back. I'm delighted to see you. And I want to congratulate you. <laughs> Thank you very much. With you Mrs. saw the graphic with my new name, huh? Mrs. Easter. Yes, Mrs. Easter. Easter is my favorite time. <laughs> I love Easter lilies. My newest thing is um, Shauna Easter, like the holiday. Yeah, that's what um, I have to say. I'll be painting some Easter lilies for you this year. I would appreciate that. Uh, we've, we're surrounded by your artwork, and we want to talk about each piece and the significance of it in this time, and as well as some of the inspirations for, for your work. Definitely. I'm going to be talking about old work with new emphasis and a new piece. Okay. It is just amazing how things can take 300 degrees turn. Back in 1997, I created a series of work I started titled Visions of Racial Harmony. And the theme behind that was we wanted to see people getting along. And I chose the colors red, yellow, black, white to symbolize that racial harmony. And this year, I've seen racial harmony to an extent I've never seen it before. Just it magnified, it was magnificent what took place in October with the election of, or in November rather, with the election of our new President Obama. And the way this piece of work, Visions of Racial Harmony, relate to that theme is that I personally had experience of not being treated equal, of racial discrimination. And out of that, I was led to paint, to put the painful feeling on canvas in a very positive way. You can see the light bulb symbolizing the vision mm -hmm. and the children red, yellow, symbolizing getting along. And as I travel through the journey with my art, I'm seeing more of my old pieces taking on a new emphasis in this new political era. I am just ecstatic. And um, election night, people of all races were embracing and hugging. People were getting their cars and hugging people they never met before. And you have seen the various images throughout and up to the inauguration of just that buzz of racial right. harmony. I just hope it will continue. Yes, as do I. So we've, we've discussed this piece that's behind us now with the light bulb and, and it's, it's beautiful. Um, you also want, you have Let's Unite. Is Let's Unite. Let's Unite about? came from my experience in the classroom. I wanted to teach young people that we should get along. And if you hold hands, you cannot fight. <laughs> so that was the meaning behind that piece. And when I came to Wilmington, I did teach. And there were times when children never got along. And my emphasis was, let's try to get along. So that's the meaning of that piece, let's unite. And I'm seeing more unity in our community. And again, going back to the election, I mean, it was yes. the first thing that President we Obama need that did after to work know, together right. as a country. Well, you're coming up to my favorite piece. And that has made national recognition. The title is, and everybody by now should know that, the melting pot versus the salad bowl. What a wonderful expression of what took place in this wonderful country on November the 4th. That piece is virtually saying that we are a country of diverse people, but we can all be recognized for who we are as ingredients in a salad bowl. So each person brings some flavor, and that is what our new president is trying to bring people of all backgrounds together, of all different persuasions to come together and realize the potentials we have in this great country. So the melting pot versus the salad bowl is even more significant because in 1997, I joined the study circle group from the YWCA and we sat in groups of 15 and we talked about race relations and that piece was published on a manual to teach race relations. So it, in this new era, it is bearing a great significance. And you want to talk about the last piece a little bit. Okay. Faith wow. Wow, that is my heart. 
It is titled Faith in Hope, and it brings back Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I'm senior. Mm -hmm. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with his dream. He had the dream that one day little kids, red, yellow, black, and white, would be holding hands. Yes, it's right that on the screen. His now. dream is fulfilled. It, it absolutely is. It is fulfilled, magnificent. And in that dream, he, he dreamt, he talked about people that you'd be recognized not for the, your skin color, but the content of your character and how wonderful it is that we have a president. He was chosen not for his color, but for the content of his character. Absolutely. So that we are seeing the dream fulfilled. And hope was the theme of President Obama's campaign, okay. hope. Mm -hmm. So faith in hope, now we are the ones to have faith. Dr. Martin Luther King gave us the dream, President Obama, the hope, and we the people must have faith because I'm a person of the Bible. My father was a preacher. I'm the daughter of a preacher. And in James 2, it says, faith without work is dead. So we need to come together, have faith. There is no magic wand that's going to be waved to make this country better. It is going to be each of us in from our vantage point, whatever we can do to work together to make this country what it can be. No, not what it will be, but what it can be. Absolutely. And we, we each have a role to play. Now, we want to also talk about the North Wilmington Library exhibit. Yes, I do have an exhibit which I'm mounting tomorrow at the North Wilmington Library. It's going to be shown for the month of February. I'm inviting everyone to come out Friday evening to see that. It is not going to be listed in the brochure, unfortunately because it, there has been an, a change. So the work will be exhibited, there will be a reception, but if it's not in the Art Loop brochure, I'm still inviting everyone to come out to see the wonderful array of work, including some more of my new pieces. And then also you have Art for Loan. Yes, I really want to talk about this because I feel strongly that we should share art and that art should not be put in boxes. So. At this time, I have a vast amount of artwork sitting in boxes that I would like to loan to the community. And not just for Black History Month, but I'm encouraging major corporations to change the ambience of their place. It's not for me to determine what type of art they should carry, but why not be a little diverse? Why not get rid of the still life and get some real life on the walls? I have beautiful works, and I do have landscape if they need landscape. I do have some still life, but what I'm really pushing is the people and um, pieces on diversity, pieces on racial harmony, pieces on empowerment, reaching for the stars. Encourage your employees to reach for the right, stars. Exactly, exactly. So I'm encourage, encouraging them to take opportunity to contact me to loan my work without any cost. So we have your contact information up there. It's www.lafaithgallery.com. The phone number is 656-6786. So if you're a small business owner, business and my owner, website, and the website, lafaithgallery.com, yes, um, you can contact Eunice on the website if you are interested in displaying her artwork in your business, in your restaurant, in your, I'm, I'm thinking about my office. That's you know? right. And especially like the pediatricians, because mm -hmm. I have a lot of work with children, places that uh, have children. I really like my work to be shown in those arena where people get, can at break time or in the offices. Start a conversation. C yes, I exactly. can't, and I have pieces which are very conversational. Well, Eunice, we want to thank you so much for joining very us. Much. And I'm we will so see delighted. you at your, at your exhibit, yes. okay? And to the audience, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please continue. We have some more uh, guests coming up on In the Upper Room Outreach Ministries Monitor.